Ram bam bam bam. I bound to compliment all the steel band. You're coming back at the same thing. You're getting mixed up now. Mm -hmm. This is the one with Desper. Oh, oh. yes, yeah, steel band jamboree. Bam 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 bam. Bam 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 bam. Pili mili. Bam 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 bam. Bam 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 bam. Pading. Bam bam bam. Bam bam li la li de lim blum blam blam pliding. A little light, little the lamp, that little limb, bloom, 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 It's a living vibration rooted deep within my Caribbean belly. Lyrics to make a politician cringe or turn a woman's body into jelly. It's a sweet soca music. You could never refuse it. It make you shake like a shango. And why the hell you shaking, you don't know, Calypso music. <laughs> It was a Bacchanal, 1950 Carnival. Fight for so with invaders and Tokyo. My friend run and left his hat. When they hit him a baseball hat, I have to explain. Still band don't have no riot again. <laughs> But it's not belting if you see sleds passing. Husband and wife, look, they start running for the life. A Indian man selling bread. Shout out, lad, to the dead. Never me again. The jump in a steel man in Porter's Bay. Hey! Da, 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 da. Calypso to me is dear to my heart. After God, my wife, Calypso. Every song that they make in America is about love. But we sing from politics to sport, to science, to whatever, education, it is recorded in Calypso. Calypsonian is a poor man newspaper. A Calypsonian is the person to tell the, the, peop the people spokesman, so to speak. He is to let the people know what time is it. What going on behind the back? I consider the Kaisonian as the old African storyteller. You know, that guy will go from village to village just spreading the word. And the old African storyteller is just the man that's supposed to go around and keep the good works and the deeds of your heroes alive. Now to all my fans who want smart, I'm very sorry. But my pleasure does always come second to my duty. And my duty is to make sure that my people life happy. And any time that thing happen, all out we go jam down Dorothy. Because so much of farming in Ethiopia, I say assassination, is it going on in India? Anytime we don't have to live with these frightful things around we yes I go in and finish the whole damn calypso about Dorothy. How I jam she in the party. And she jam me. How we back back in the party. And we roll back in the party. But once my people keep fighting for equal share the king, we Dorothy, we Dorothy, we. Then a good calypso is timely and timeless, meaning that it comes right in the nick of time. Calypso is not just a, a, a Caribbean thing. You know, it is a Caribbean music, but it's not ours to own. Music is to be shared for the world. When Americans say about calypso, they always say Harry Belafonte. No, Harry Belafonte, people in Trinidad don't know him as, as no Calypsonian. The real roots of Calypso is right here. I see the Calypsonian as a concerned villager. A person who would like to see his village improve. I am like a river overflowing its bank. You try to stop me, I'm going to find room to pass. So it has a rhythm unto itself alone. It 
has a little bit a doo-doo, a doo-doo, all or very old. It's a way of life, a way of love, from centuries ago. Our folk art, I know, must be Calypsonian. I born a Calypsonian, you know? Yeah. Calypsonian do be good-looking people. <laughs> So yeah. How are you good looking? No, I say they don't be good looking people. Oh. But you're just lucky to be one. <laughs> hey, Ame, Fosuke Ame. Hey, Ame, Fosuke Ame. A cry of the slaves. That's how Kaiso all started. When the slaves wanted to sing on the master in their tongue, they composed their own little things about the master and sang it. And that's how the composition of Calypso began. It was out of a struggle. We look at um, the experience through plantation slavery. And, and Calypso as an art that, that helped to keep our people and keep their soul together. And it was only through the Calypso that the people, especially the African population, was able to articulate um, the concerns and the, the, the views and the opinions about how the life was going, how the country should be run, um, how things affect them in, in, in personal ways. So Calypso was that, always that art form to express um, the, the, the political angle as, as relating to life. When I was a little fella, growing in my parents' place, I used to see a lot of supper. I had to bow and say my grace. But today, we got some little fella. My friend, they don't know their place. See I am walking up and down the street and casting in front of his face. Oh, like if you're walking in the dark, like if you're walking in the dark. As long as my people respect for man, I know to catch good hell in this land. Oh, like walking in the dark, like if you're walking in the dark. As long as my people respect for man. One of the evidence shows that the Calypso harks back to the West African griot singing, whereby people commented on their situations, they commented on, on their experiences, on their hopes, their aspirations, and the very same thing the griots did in West Africa, we in Trinidad do it. So raise your head, Mr. African, raise your head. Corrupted elements plotting while you in bed. Oh yeah. Raise your head, Mr. African, raise your head. Wake up, shake up, the dreadful times are ahead. Remember Steve Biko? He died in jail, you know. He fought them oppressors, fakes and brutal murderers. Now they raise in sanction, but won't like recuperation. Look, it's time to see that all Africans are free. So raise your hand, Mr. African, raise your hand. Destructive elements plotting while you in bed, oh yeah. Raise your hand, Mr. African, raise your hand. Wake up, shake up, the dreadful times are right. The mighty Duke said about Calypso music that it's an editorial in song that describes our life and times. And um, I feel that this art form is the most unique in the sense that, um, you know, I know of no other place where people can um, talk about their mayor, their neighbor, the prime minister. So then I try to sell Eden Chan an accident policy. I say, Eden, let Carlos pave the savannah. Let him pave the whole city. Eden Chan gone up in the savannah to stop the paving. Lie down on the grass. A 
truck with hot sun, yeah. nearly bury mother. To me, the uniqueness of Calypso is that it's the freest form of music in the world. Freest, anything that happens in Calypso. A Calypso is every man's opinion. So if you go to a Calypso tent and you tell each Calypso to write about the war in the Middle East, you'll hear 20 different opinions, 20 different styles, 20 different rhythmic patterns. Saddam Hussein will get killed by a bomb. What? In time to come, in time to come, in time to come, a light. In time to come. Moving from the dark ages, man has progressed in stages. Through the stone and iron age, till we turn another page. And we saw the adventures of Alexander. When you talk about masking and calypso, uh, it's, that's a, it's a good example because everybody sings from man Coca-Cola, way down point Kumana, both mother and daughter, working for the Yankee dollar. Everybody sees the rum. Everybody sees the Coca-Cola. But very few people see both mother and daughter working for the Yankee dollar. When the Yankees came to train their dad, they had all the young girls going mad. But the only Yankees gone back home, that was the Calypso of long ago, coming from Trinidad and Tobago. But now the Yankees gone back home. Trinidad women begin to roam. They want to run man Coca Cola. Going down point Coca. He's singing therefore about while people drinking rum and Coca-Cola and having a good time, Americanism is breaking up the family life of our people. Both mother and daughter working for the Yankee dollar. He's singing a prostitution. The root and the soul of Calypso would always be um, the voice of the people. It would always be an art form that would um, paint a picture and tell a story. And, and you know, establish um, documents of history for our people and, and for humanity in general. Trinidad is my land, and of it I am proud and glad. But I can't understand why some people don't talk it bad. But I know all of them who run in the mouth. They don't know where they're talking about. They would paint their black every day. And the writings they would never say. Like our sportsman, he the great is one of his best. Our scholars have sit and pass every test and put us right alongside the rest. And then our pitch lake is the greatest one of its kind. Our sugar and oil is really refined. So you see, friends, this is a real King Solomon's mind. The challenge is to find these new ways to turn the lyric. If I have to make a reference, maybe I say Bob Dylan will probably qualify as a Calypsonian because he has a way he can turn the lyric. Well, the girls in town feeling bad. No more Yankees in Trinidad. They're going to close down the base for good. Them girls have to make out how they could. Hey, brother, is now they park up in town. In for a penny and in for a pound. Believe me, it's competition for so. Trouble in the tongue and the price drop low. So when you bounce up, Gina and Dinah, Rosita and Clementina. Round the corner posing, bet your life is something they're selling. And if you catch them broken, you can get them all for nothing. Don't make a row. I say the Yankees gone and Sparrow take over. Oh, God. <laughs> Things Spanish to hear them cry. The sailor in tongue, the nightclubs dry. 
Only West Indians like me or you go in to get a drink or two. Brothers, we have things back in control. I seek in revenge with my heart and soul. When I spread the news around, is to see how them cavemen come in the tongue. Just to see Miss Jean and Dinah, Rosita and Clementina. And she Round the corner posing, but your life is something to sell it. And if you catch them broken, you can get them all for nothing. Don't make a row. I say the Yankees gone, Sparrow take over now. It's the glamour boys again. We are going to rule Port of Spain. No more Yankee to spoil the fet. Dorothy had to take what she get. All of them who used to make style, taking two shilling with a smile. No more hotel to rest your head by the sweat of thy brow. Thou shall eat bread. Mama, you, Gina, Dinah, Rosita, and Clementina. And she, Mama, round the corner, posing. Bet your life is something to sell. <laughs> and if you catch them broken, you can get them all for nothing. Don't make a row. I want to hear the Yankees burn and sparrow take over now. Rosita, Clementina. Shut up and do that, 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 do <laughs> Life today, yeah. unlike yesterday, Whoa. friendship gone. And scorn Whoa. Neighbor Living like stranger With neighbor No love, sir No love, sir For one another To unite people as one I create a song I hope you live on From generation to generation To generation Shanti Om, Shanti Shanti Om. Trinidad is a colony, a melting pot of race and religion. Whether you're Hindu, Christian, Muslim, whatever, you hear all these influences in the Calypso. Early Sunday morning, I was strolling down down. Yes, I met this charming, religious woman. She was shining in the morning light, dressed all in white, confessing she loved my voice, not my songs of choice. She tell me, you want to make a hit record, yes? You want to make a hit record? Well, if you want to make a hit record, you got to sing for the Lord, she tell me. You want to make a hit record? Yes. You want to make a hit record? Well, I know you want to make a hit record, you got to sing for the Lord, she tell me. Sing for the Lord. Hey. Sing for the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Sing for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Sing it louder. Sing for the Lord. She tell me. Sing for the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Sing for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Only brothers and the sisters from various sections who are drinking. Smoking something <laughs> is peace and love in the band. Tell me what they're smoking. No kind of decency. I know that. 
And we praising Marcus Garvey And we chanting As mass sing is a high mass It's real class We play with jazz No pan fee Neither no whiskey Just feel free Everybody right. Sing it, sing it Rass mass is a high mass is real class, we play with Jaja. Our expression of the blues is different. Um, if you go to, say, Jamaica or the States or wherever you, ha you find the blues tells you, like, you know, life is hard, life is so hard. And the Trinidad expression is, <laughs> life is hard, you know. <laughs> you know? But it's the same, it's, it's just that we do it with a laugh. And the laugh fools people. But under the laugh is, is a blade. Always a blade. But if somebody had to have a hole mm, 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 and they need a charitable soul, <laughs> well, I'm the first one, the asking to sing. You know why, man? Because I'm the free show. Okay, so king. <laughs> When you add you might have kai so into you see you you you're on seriousness. That was that, that why I was doing that just a while ago. I was singing a serious song. But when you put a, when you add humor into it and you you see you, you capture the whole audience. You capture the person who listens seriously and you make that same person laugh. You make that same person relax under under the gun. You know, <laughs> you, when you do that, you know, you're trying, you, you, you want to win the crown. <laughs> I was told about this young fella who had a song about sticking the jelly. Yeah. You know, big... <laughs> <laughs> he was joking some, yeah. somebody up a tree. <laughs> and I liked the song and I made sure that they introduced me to him. I can't remember. I think it was what the, the China Clipper restaurant or someplace. You know, we got to know each other. But, um, he made a hit before me. He made a hit. Everybody had like this. He took it. Who's he going? He took it. He took it. Ali. <laughs> Let me see if I remember the piece. About 1954. A lady had an estate up in Lavanti with coconuts in a quantity. She uh, had this estate up in Lavanti with coconuts in a quantity. Well, I heard how the tree's so high. Mm. You cannot pick no matter how you try. Yes. So I wait until the lady sleeping. The I get the rod and I start trying. I said, I'm going to chuck this rod high, high up. And somehow uh, it must reach the tree top. I'll push it high up on the tree. And somehow I'm bound to get the jelly. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, with a song like that, I got to be the guy. I got to be the guy. <laughs> Some Calypsonians choose the name of sobriquet because they want people to be fearful of them. A fellow might have come up there and his name is Tiger. And the next fellow named Lion. Lion. So when you hear these names... And then they have another one named Zebra. Yeah. So when you hear these names, you, get you, hold your, you hold your chair and your wife and your whole time. Yeah. <laughs> the sobriquet in Calypso is like an English judge. The English judge wears his wig. And he wears his wig to tell you and that if I condemn you to death, it is not me who has condemned you to death, it's the wig has condemned you. It's what I represent. And so the sobriquet in Calypso came from angry laughing men. They laughed, but they were angry inside. And they were telling you that when I come on stage, it is not me, whatever my name is, John Thomas, it is what I represent. My sobriquet as an artist in the Calypso is Brother Valentino. That name was given to me by the great grandmaster, this is Lord Kitchener. He called me Valentino. One day I was going to Martinique and he saw me and he said, you are the little boy who won the Calypso competition at the Queen's Park Savannah. And I said, yes, I am. And he said, well, you drop a bomb on them, they should call you a bomber. Because we want peace in the world. For you and me, peace in the world. Well, everybody has a conflict will never cease until we begin world peace. When Prowler was a little man, 
it could be about 10 or 12 years. <laughs> Prowler used to come around the young brigade tent on Duke Street in a short pants, and he uses to be prowling around the fence to, to see if he can get a break to get in. But so small, the older Calypsonian didn't want him at that hour of the night <laughs> to be around the tent, right? I pitch in marble. I used to pitch marble. And I'm the dexterous, pitching any hand. And had a, a fellow named Shavalong. He was the best pitcher we had done, Shavalong Tree. So I always say now, you, you call him the king. So they say, I'm a pretender to your throat, I would think. I used to mark, I had a hat, mark pretend on my hat. And it stopped so, the day that I saw him, it, it stopped with me from pitching marble to okay. Kaiso. So when I realized that Sparrow is going to be stuck, that's my name. I added mighty to it. Because there's nothing like a mighty Sparrow. Sparrow is a poor, humble little bird. And I decided I'm going to be poor and humble all the days of my life. And put a mighty to it and confuse everybody. The mighty, mighty. You know, you really can't talk about Calypso without talking about my dear friends, Lord Melody, Mighty Spoiler, and the Grandmaster, Lord Kitchener. I think Lord Kitchener was the greatest Calypsonian ever lived. What I, what I love about Kitchener was his simplicity in choosing words, his melodies, lyrically, his storylines, everything was perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, Kitchener, I so admire Kitchener, the, the melodies and the way he put his words together. Kitchener only got little words, so, and rhyme it. Take any word and make it rhyme. And it, yeah, he got something else. There's no Calypsonian alive. I mean, talking about the real Calypsonians whom Kitchener has, hasn't touched. Lord Kitchener, now I'm told that you are really the king of Calypso singers, is that right? Yes, that's well, now, so true. Will you sing for us? Right now. Yes. London. Is the place for me to do, 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 do. London, this lovely city. You can go to France or America, India, Asia, or Australia, but you must come back to London City. Kitch, what could I say? He was my friend. He assisted me calypso wise, he assisted me financially when things were down. He would bring things for me, put it in his car, drive up here, blow his horn. I was so familiar with the horn, I said, ah, catch outside. And with more unity, we will live happily. Lovely West Africa, land of gold and silver. That's why I want to come back home. Africa, 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 Tell Dr. Nkrumah, this is Lord Kitchener. We send our love to Africa, me and Roy and Kara. That's why I want to come back home. Africa, girl, I'm tired road. Africa, girl, I want to come back home. Africa. I'm not ashamed to say he brought food for me, talking about rice for sugar, butter, onion, you know, cheese, cooking oil and everything. He used to do that for me. We were great friends. Carnival is nice. Carnival is sweet. I don't mind she take, she jump, but leave me something to eat. Whenever she come, Lord, that is Bacchanal. She go tell me who she want between me and Carnival. I order in licks, well it's leather all in she face. Kick she out my house, let Carnival find she a place. All I hear she jumping up inside a man. Oh Lord, she brings it up, I understand. Everybody have to say, how they see she didn't go late. And she big in soul, like a ten year old. Mama, yo, she wind down, down. She get on bad. Oh Lord, she busy down. She must be mad. 
She hear the beat of a steel band And the symbol song of a horn Where she go, she leave the pot and the fire And she go I used to rent a bass when Kitchener come to New York, go down 48th Street and rent an upright bass just to bring Kitchener in a, in a particular restaurant wherever I'm working to jam that bass and he had such a personality on that bass people used to go crazy just to see Kitchener play that bass you know when we were both young <laughs> Nobody does it better than Kitchener